Hello once again, YouTube. Welcome back to Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog. <coughs> and uh, now we're going to be doing Marble Zone Act 3 and Boss. I like doing blind LPs, they're always fun. Interesting. I actually had another channel where I did a blind of another game, but... Whoa! Okay, I thought that was one of those ones that you have to break yourself. Good thing I saved, because I died. That's why I like this music, I just do. It's kinda cool. It's like a really neat song with some pretty nice like bass chords, I think. I think it's bass. Like some bass drum at least. Okay. So there's obviously some secret over here because, uh, I oh, don't look at that vendor barrier. Oh crap. That barrier was useless because I died. Oh, we're not going to go that way this time because I don't need the barrier. What's up here that I'm not noticing? Nothing? Okay. So... And yes, this is actually blind. I'm just noticing stuff so quickly. This isn't because I've played through it before. It's just I noticed this stuff. You automatically assume things that always tend to work in this game. Depending on what it is you're trying. See, like, I looked up there, so I saw this block. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. <laughs> that sucked. And I'm not going to do what I did in Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and off-screen any of it. I'm going to fully on-screen this LP. Yeah, this is dangerous. I have no rings. Yeah, I'm, I have to go get barrier. Mike, it's learned barrier. Chrono trigger for the win. Actually, in the game Dark Sigil Blade of the Exiled, there's a reference to Chrono Trigger. Um, there's boxes in Chrono Trigger that in 600, or in 1000 AD, they say uh, you can't open the, like the box has never, the box has been there since ancient times and cannot be opened, not even by magic. And in one of the houses on Black Sigil, you get that same message. From somebody that it's been there for ancient times and has never been able to be opened by anybody, not even magic. 
And save an extra life. And save in game, because we got an extra life. But yeah, in Black Sigil, it's got a reference to, uh, Chrono Trigger. Which is kind of neat. I think they were made by the same company. Spranix. If anybody can, uh, let me know that. I don't have my box for... Black Sigil anymore. I don't know what I did with the box, actually. Like, with the case, so I don't know who designed it. Or who developed the game. Yeah, if somebody can confirm if it was actually by Square Enix or not, that'd be nice. Indeed I did, I skipped over Sonic Adventure, sorry, but we'll be doing Sonic Adventure right after this. In fact, next weekend I'll be starting Sonic Adventure, probably, because I'll probably finish this game next weekend, if not like through the week. Here, kind of, I was getting a little bit of speed. Oh, what the hell am I supposed to do? Can I just, oh. Okay, well, I didn't know it, you could jump back like that. But, wow! That is so stupid. Oh my god, I didn't hit a single checkpoint. Is there even any checkpoints in this level? Dear God. It took me like forever. Okay, well, next video, guys. Next video.